tell me who you are and what you're doing here. Hi, we're in northern Quebec. And we're canoeing. And this is Laird signing in. the bow floor down. Usually we use balsam fir, but there's no fir here, so we're using spruce. And this is what we're going to sleep on. This is going to keep us dry and comfortable. Well, the tips are usually like this on the tree. We put them down so the bottom side is facing up. camp in Canada and on the river and we're we canoeing got, and we're canoeing we got here a little while ago we've set up camp and lit a fire we're planning on having some soup but on the way there was a big squall line and Carter will tell you about that yeah there was a big squall line and we had just tied up the canoes when it hit and trees were falling over on the other bank. And then during the squall line, I found some snowberries and ate them. That warm. Yeah, so Carter, maybe just do a little to start with. Maybe Bring them down the lid then. Okay. <laughs> but that, that's not the kind they sell them. We need to cut them. Yep. The bigger. Well, we set out a gill net yesterday late, and then today we came to check it, and we got a huge northern pike, a walleye, and a few sucking fish. A few of them we let go, but most, some of them survived, a few died, and one we saw had a huge gash in its neck. On. The northern pike is really big, it's about two and a half, three feet long. Let's have a look. Why don't you point at it? This is the northern pike. This is the walleye, and then these are the three stuff. And if you take a look at the walleye's eye, it looks almost like a mirror or something. And the walleye's teeth and the northern pikes are huge. So wait. What are these things? This is the top of the northern pike. So the big teeth of the ball. These are the floaters and the, these rocks on ropes are made to hold the net down from floating away. To hold it open. And open. To, yesterday, we um, after catching those fish, we smoked them and we <laughs> made some goose, Canadian goose. And then on later I found a moose tooth. And then here's Carter. Today, there was a big windstorm on the lake and we were blown ashore. And then a little later on, I caught a northern pike, which it, and it snapped my rod, it was so strong. And then tonight, we made camp over here and we had some good bread.
that guy. How high is the rabbit? Good enough. Do that. To cut. What make him gonna make him run through? Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's the way he goes. Yeah. Today we drove home from the camp. It was sort of rainy sometimes, sort of sunny. Stopped some water of the trip. It was a pretty good trip and all. It was about 14, 15 hours, a long trip. And we stopped by the old man at the end. And then now we're back at Tim's house with the shelters, which he has built. And there's a little baby porcupine right there, who's which we've never seen before, but we've heard about. And he, who's standing up. 